Hi, my name is Felicia. I'm going to go over some of the questions on your air brake test. 25 questions on the test here in Ohio. Some states are 20, some are 30, but Ohio is 25. So if this can be any help, I'm going to go over some of the questions they may ask you. Air brakes takes more time than hydraulic brakes because air takes more time to flow through the lines than hydraulic fluid. If your truck has dual parking control valves, you can use pressure from a separate tank to release the spring emergency parking brakes to move a short distance. The driver must be able to see a warning before air pressure is in the service air tanks falls below 60 PSI. The brake pedal in an air brake system controls the air pressure applied to the brakes. All vehicles equipped with air brakes have a supply pressure gauge. If you do not have automatic tank drains, how often should you drain the oil and water from the bottom compressed air storage tanks at the end of each day of driving? To check free play of manual slack adjusters on S cam brakes, you should park on level ground, chalk the wheels, and release the parking brakes. If you must make an emergency stop, brake so you can steer and your vehicle stays in a straight line. The braking power of the spring brakes depends on whether the service brakes are in adjustment. If your vehicle has an alcohol evaporator, every day during cold weather, you should check the alcohol level and fill the evaporator if needed. During normal driving, spring brakes are usually held back by air pressure. In air brake vehicles, the parking brakes should be used anytime the vehicle is parked. Your brakes are fixed when you have to push harder on the brake pedal to control your speed on a downgrade. Your vehicle has a dual air brake system. If a low air pressure warning comes on for the secondary system, you should bring the vehicle to a safe stop and continue only when the system is fixed. Emergency stab braking is when you brake as hard as you can, release the brake when the wheels lock, and then put the brakes on again when the wheels start rolling. A straight truck or air brake system should not leak at a rate of more than 2 psi per minute. The supply pressure gauge shows how much pressure Pressure. It is in the air tanks. Total stopping distance for air brakes is longer than that for hydraulic brakes due to distance brake lag. For more questions, there are a lot of CDL testing online that have the questions and the answers that are going to be on your test. And at the end of this video, we will have some resources that will help you out. I hope this helps out and helps you. Good luck.